Hey there, it's Brian Gormley again with another edition of Where in Greater DC. Uh, we are here and it is a little bit windy, so I've got to hold the, uh, the camera a little close. I'm all by myself today. Uh, same rules apply as what we've been doing. Uh, guess where we're filming and uh, uh, send your guests to support at Cornerstone Properties, HomeInfo.com, and the first one to get it right will uh, will get a nice little prize, uh, courtesy of us. So the uh, the tips that we're we're talking about today is uh, was on a lot of people's mind. At least we found for homeowners, uh, can you get any money back from a short sale? And it's a great question. Uh, you know, generally the uh, the answer is no, you can't. Uh, it certainly makes sense if you're the equity holder of the property. Uh, and uh, you know somebody's somebody's lent you money, uh, they're going to get paid off first. So if they're they are forced to take a discount, uh, which is the case in a short sale, uh, the the mortgage lender is taking a, a discount or a haircut off their outstanding mortgage balance in order to clear the lien off the property. Uh, then you're not going to get paid anything. Uh, they get paid first, then and you, the homeowner, you get paid uh, only when everyone else uh, gets paid. Title company, real estate agents, uh, mortgage bank, whoever. So uh, that's the general rule. And it certainly makes sense. There are two exceptions to that rule, which are very worth noting. Uh, one is a uh, government program. Uh, if it's uh, if it's a half a short sale, then uh, there is a, a moving allowance also with uh, FHA. If you have an FHA loan, uh, they also allow you a, uh, a a small moving allowance. Uh, usually, those things can get applied to uh, to other things uh, in the closing that uh, the short sale bank won't pay for, but are but are necessary to get the the deal closed. Uh, so it's you know those are small amounts, uh, $750, $3,000, um, you know, nothing to write home about, but a little bit of money always helps, especially if you're trying to move and, and you're strapped. Uh, the other big exception, and this is new, is a lot of banks are actually now providing a, uh, an incentive if for full price offers uh, to, uh, to the homeowner. So let's say the bank says, well, we need $250,000 and we'll give you, um, you know, $10,000 as, as a bonus, uh, homeowner, if you can get us a full price offer uh, and, uh, you know, and, and you know, meet all of our other conditions, uh, we'll give you a lot of money. A lot of times these are bait and switch sort of situations where they get uh, the full price offer or get a more than what they what they really need to get an approval and uh, and then they might not give you the full amount. But uh, we have seen some people get uh, a little bit of a, uh, of a moving, moving bonus from the home, from the actual short sale bank and uh, it's great, it, you know, if you can get a little bit of, uh, of extra money than, than fantastic. Uh, don't hold your breath on this though, I definitely want to, uh, you know, manage any expectations. It's not something that uh, you can count on and it's certainly not a lot of money. So uh, you, you never know. Uh, it's, it's definitely possible to, uh, to get a little extra from that source as well. But, but the general rule should apply and you should go into it with that expectation. Um, that's it for now. Um, check out our blog for more information on, on this and a bunch of other topics. That's LegalGoTo.com. LegalGoTo.com or friend us or like our, uh, our fan page on Facebook, Cornerstone Properties and Financial Services, LLC. Uh, that's it for me. I'm going to do a little 360 here to give you a great big hint uh, where we are. Uh, not too bad on the wind front today. Uh, it was really bad the last time we, uh, we filmed here. Um, so happy guessing. Support at CornerstonePropertiesHomeInfo.com and uh, we'll see you next time. So long.